So one thing that I actually do want to get circled back to actually yeah. is, you know, the whole、um, being, you know, growing up in you know Asian、mm-hmm. family household because it, this actually sort of links to you know the whole mental health issue because because usually you know growing up in the Asian household it, that kind of stuff is like sort of like. St- Frowned upon or stigma, right? Having mental health issues, yeah, definitely. Yeah. And then my guess is that you know, for you, you have never really expressed it because you were afraid. Oh yeah, of course.、Um, my dad thinks therapy is for pansies. Oh really? Is、oh, not、wow. a real, you know, well, thing that you should be doing. So well, he was in, in the military.、So. Yeah, exactly. They they have a lot of issues. They just don't know. He doesn't know how to express any type of emotions. At all in any way. When he wants to tell me that he loves me, he's like, "Oh, you're an idiot,"、oh. and I'm like, "Thanks, Dad. Great."、Oh, wow. <laughs> you know? Okay. Interesting. Yeah. So it's not it's not always what you say; it's the way you say it. And he means it nicely, but he's not saying it. Right. Right. Because he feels like if I were to be vulnerable and open up,、mm-hmm. it, it looks like I'm I'm kind of a weak person. Yeah. Yeah, weakness is a really you know toxic masculinity. Weakness、sure. is a really big theme in our house. You could never be weak, you know. Okay. You can never be emotional, and like my my dad is kind of on the losing side for sure because me and my three other siblings are very strong willed,、mm-hmm. and my sister is in the LGBTQ. LGBTQ community,、okay. and she's very active politically. So whenever he's like, "You're being weak," she's like, "She's like, you shouldn't pay attention to those social constructs." And then she'll just grill him about like what you should actually be doing,、mm. which is good. He should learn,、yeah. but he's too old too. So again, like Asian households or households where they don't really support mental health, I think it's like it's really hard growing up in that. And I think yoga for me was a way to. Be able to express that without actually saying it, because even now saying stuff like saying I'm uncomfortable or saying like I don't feel well is still hard,、mm-hmm. you know. Yeah, of course.、Uh, yeah, all that is hard. Yeah. And would you say that you know for you doing yoga is almost almost similar as escaping reality in a way? Oh my gosh! Yes. Hello. I'm I, I'm an actor. <laughs> all I do is try to escape reality <laughs> and be someone else. You know, but isn't that bad? I mean, it sounds bad when you put it that way. You know, being someone else, right? I, I think that it's not bad. It was my way to cope with things. Okay. I think that everyone has. I think that nothing is ever good or bad. You know, there's benefits and disadvantages to everything that you do. So yeah, like escaping reality, that doesn't sound good. Yeah. You should want to be where you are, but like, in some ways, it makes you appreciate your own reality. You know. Or in some ways, it just allows you to escape for a little bit, and that's fine too. 